Welcome to the Faces of Open Air. And today I'm going to be talking to Verbjorn. So welcome, Verbjorn. Um, you've got many hats because you work at Oslo University Hospital uh, within the Norwegian Architect Governance. You support us with International CKM and you're part of the CPB. So can you tell us a little bit more about you and your role? Oh, yeah, well, where, where to start? Uh, <laughs> Um, as a part of the Norwegian governance team of the archetypes, I spend much time in in doing the reviews in, in, in the Norwegian CKM. So that includes also um, modeling archetypes and put them on, on review. And uh, because uh, we in, in Norway, we also strive to to keep our archetypes aligned with the international CKM. So we also do that, the very same archetypes, we do them in parallel uh, reviews. So we'll do it both internationally and, and in Norway in, this, in the same time. So that creates a lot of extra work, of course, but we think that's very important. Um, and then the other half of me, uh, we, I'm working at the Oslo University Hospital and I've been here for well, 36 years. Um, yeah, I started out as a nurse, but I took some IT education off after some years. And I've been working there as a project manager and an architect, uh, enterprise architect and so on. So, but now I'm mainly focused on implementing uh, open air based uh, functionality in our a electronic health record the, from the vendor DIPS. So um, my time is mostly around open EHR at the moment, which is quite fun. So how did you become involved with open it? I've been thinking about it when it started, but I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it was... Uh, when the Norwegian uh, public hospital sector, when they evaluated how to uh, structure the information in, in, in our electronic health records, um, that was initiated by a colleague. Well, he was a part of it, and I think he just told me about it. And uh, eventually I started to uh, participate in, in the reviews. And uh, my colleague there, Celia and John Tore, they, they realized that this this guy was a real nuisance because I was also always asking the difficult questions. So I think they just uh, realized better bring him, bring him on board. <laughs> <laughs> but those difficult questions need to be asked, don't they? Especially in the clinical modeling community to get it right. Yeah. So that's 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 about ten years ago now. So it's been a while. Wow. So a, a decade in the open air community. Mm -hmm. Now you've, you've been sort of pivotal to everything that we've been doing within the CKA community and working with you know the archetype reviews. What do you see as the future going forward with open air as we grow? What do you see us needing in place? The history shows us that that the com community is is growing. And I think it's it's starting to sell uh, itself because uh, when you got more implementations, the the, the it speaks for itself. Um, and but the problem or the challenge is to use the correct archetypes and using them in the correct way. Uh, and we see that from the governance point of view that it's. It's one. It's very hard to to uh, to describe the archetypes in a way that people understand how what they are about and how they're supposed to be used. Um, that's one thing, and we spend a lot of time with the wording. And when we are sure that it's super, super, super clear, uh, we see that in the reviews that no people has they haven't understood it. So that's one challenge. And the other challenge is that it's so easy to make an archetype and start using it and without having that um, uh, input from the community. Uh, we can risk that it will 
be uh, not a standard, but uh, or a technical standard, but it not not a semantic standard, and that's that's one challenge we have to to deal with. So the the governments and the community are the key to making sure that this works going forward. Yeah, it is, and especially since we try to make those available, the archetypes available across the globe, and it, it it's a Norwegian. In the children television some years ago, there was uh, some gnomes and they were saying they're stealing from others, but they always give something back. Mm. And then um, I have a feeling that that should be implemented uh, in the minds of people start using open EHR. They have to give it back what they're making, put it back to the international CKM and, and share it. I like that. So contributing and taking at the same time so that everyone gives value. That's a fantastic message. Thank you so much, Verbion. Appreciate speaking to you today.